Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on physical security measures. Today we're going to be talking about security at the building level, security at the node level, and finally, securing physical documents and passwords. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. And the first thing that I'll say is security begins at the front door. Actually, it begins at every door. Uh, locking doors is the first level of security. The level of security that does get deployed should increase as the need increases. So let's talk about which doors need to be locked. Uh, equipment rooms where servers are kept or server rooms, they should be locked. Network cabinets should be locked, even if they're in the server room. You need to restrict access to only those who need it. Now you can use electronic locks, and a good thing about those is they do record information or they are capable of recording information on who opened them and when. If you are in a high security area, you might want to think about installing tailgating prevention measures. Tailgating is when somebody without authorization follows directly behind somebody who is authorized. A turnstile can prevent tailgating. Now we talked about electronic locks. You might want to consider using electronic locks that are activated by badges. The good thing about using badges, you then know who is who. You can look at a badge and see who has authorization to be in an area if the badge is configured correctly. Now the badges can have a magnetic strip in them, which can be swiped to unlock doors. Some badges have an RFID chip, radio frequency identifier chip in them, which can also be used to unlock doors. Now let's talk about security at the node level, the PC level. One of the first things that you can implement at the node level for physical security is a privacy filter. Now this prevents shoulder surfing. What that is is somebody looking over somebody else's shoulder to see what's on their screen and possibly get compromised that way. Now privacy filters will restrict the viewing angle at which a screen can be seen and it ensures that private things get kept private. Another physical security measure that can happen at the node level also involves badges. If you require badges with a magnetic strip, there are readers that can attach to PCs that require that the badge be inserted before a user can log in. This is especially useful when it also requires a PIN. This now makes it a multi-factor authentication. And talking about that, you can also employ biometric measures. Make people prove who they are, not just by what they know, but by their physical feature. There are fingerprint scanners, retinal patterns, voice patterns, and facial recognition can all be used as a physical security measure. Another security measure that is physical in nature are tokens or key fobs. These can be used both on-site and for remote logins. The token or key fob supplies a security code that changes on a regular basis. It's a rolling code. The changes usually occur about every 60 seconds. When a user is logging in, they look at the key fob and supply the code that's on the screen at that time, along with their username and password. The authentication server knows what the code should be at any given time, and the key fob can be set to each individual to ensure added security. Now let's talk about securing physical documents, as in passwords. You're going passwords? Well, key admin passwords should be documented in the case of an emergency. You, you never know, you might get hit by a bus. Now, these need to be secured, and at a minimum, they should be in a locked file cabinet that has limited access. That access should only go to those who have a need to be in it. So what do you do with those documents once you're done with them? Well, you need to prevent dumpster diving. 
that used to be a good way of gaining access to sensitive information, including networks. You should employ the use of a crosscut shredder at a minimum, if not an actual document disposing company. Now that concludes this session on physical security measures. We talked about some security measures at the building level, at the node level, and then properly securing physical documentation. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I'm sure we will do some more.